YouTube, it's Mike here. I, uh, I've done a couple of things here and there on this Craftsman 12 and a half horse Briggs and Stratton um, lawnmower. It's a 38 inch, five speed, um, basically your kind of run of the mill MTD uh, as far as that goes. Um, just gonna go over things I've done. I did this patch here, and if you uh, watched the video on the mower deck patching I did, I mean, it looks okay from a distance. Um, I ended up kind of just putting some slap happy quick paint on there and uh, trying to cut a bit of grass because I thought before I put a lot of effort into making it look all pretty and finished, um, I should make sure it's gonna cut grass all right and make sure these patches are gonna hold. Um, you know, because sometimes you might think you have a bunch of good tacks around the outside or whatever because really I mean with this kind of the way they make these decks nowadays and the thickness of the metals you, you're kind of almost limited how much I mean unless you're really patient you want to just keep joining tack to tack to tack you could be all day um, let's get maybe a TIG or something I don't know but she's pretty thin stuff all the way around so the patches held well um, I did a video on them but I thought I would say I put the deck on, I tried it. Um, that worked. In the front here, um, there's a, for whatever reason, they have, it's kind of an odd exhaust. It comes down here, and then there's this plate. And this plate had uh, come loose and broken off. It was hanging by one bolt loosely. So I, uh, I actually ended up tacking it in here. Now I just realized I should have put a bit of paint on there to protect it and I can still do that but uh, the tax held so the frame mustn't be flexing too bad I think what happened not, not that I've put a lot of hours cutting grass I just did a few laps quick one day when it wasn't raining um, the uh, I thought maybe it had been the frame flex that had made this come off the one side but maybe I was wrong maybe it's something else to it um, or the way I tacked it so that it's got, there's a, a 90 degree bend here in this piece of tin and I tacked along the top. And if you would have seen the one bolt hole back in here was broken out, but it's down closer to this flat piece. So maybe it was just letting it lever a little bit more. And by me tacking up in the top of the angle and not attaching at the bottom, maybe that's allowing a little bit more flex. I'm not sure. Um, this piece here, this rod that goes back to hold the mower deck, at some point, uh, one of the clips had fell out and I'm not sure when or how that happened. Needless to say, when that fell out of the mower deck end, this piece here had gotten all twisted up and bent around. So I took actually two sledgehammers, one to work as a flat piece on the inside, the other one to swing and, uh, I tried to just pry it back that's some heavy-duty metal um, it was actually a little tougher than I was expecting but I got it straight and it that seems to work actually the mower deck lines up better now since I kind of I just made sure everything was connected and adjusted and of course I welded up the patches on it and everything and it, it seems to sit really nice and level now and uh, so that's that's kind of a major bonus there um, other work I have done to this machine in here on the HUD. Where'd it go? It must be this side. On this side here, I want to say, around this rod, which attaches it across the front, the metal had broke away. And so I welded it back in, welded all the way around this rod. It had only been kind of tacked in a few places, and the same on this side then what I did was I took and I put this piece of bar and I tacked it along and welded it hard to the rod and the same over here um, because I, I want to say that I've noticed with these hoods before they kind of have an inherent weakness that way where they attach for whatever reason it's kind of just a weak spot and it's it's really irritating um, you flip your head flip your hood ahead to put gas in it or check the oil or something and 
it flops right off or whatever, or the wind catches it. And so anyway, that's been redone and reinforced the way I think they probably should have done something from the factory, but that's just my opinion. Um, there's really like, if you look at this piece here, it's folded from the hood. And so there's only really this much that you're levering on because really once you get to this uh, bolt hill hole for the grill, um, there's no strength anymore. So, I mean, that's only made to hold plastic on it. In fact, that one bolt's missing. I couldn't find a plug to fit it. Um, I'll have to look again, but the, uh, this is made just to hold the, the grill on. This is not made for holding the hood up. So you literally have this little wee piece. And uh, so that's why I ran it back here. I mean, you could have you could have attached this to a lot of, even just being able to tag it into the corner if there was enough, uh, if they would have adjusted the hood by an inch or like in total narrower or a half inch each side, however you want to say that. So that this bar could have actually been in this corner so you could have welded to here and to here then you would have had her made in the shade so this is the answer i came up with um all i had was silver paint or uh, aluminum so there's it's a two-tone hood now i don't know if you can see when i painted it i just took a piece of tape ran it across done and then put the grill back on um when this thing came to me the engine, I'd start it up and it would shake and flop and whatever, carry on. The exhaust had been broken off um, at, at where it bolts to the engine. I'll show you that. So I ended up putting nuts and washers on the engine bolts because there were none. In fact, when I realized the engine bolts were still there, but how loose they were, I was completely amazed that they hadn't just fell out because there was no good reason for them to still be sitting there. Um... And luckily, none of the actual mounting area was cracked or rubbed through or anything. So I literally tightened the bolt, put the nut and washer on, tightened it. And then I, because I'd been nervous about uh, the aluminum here that's threaded being worn, I could give them a final tightening with the nut um, because I, I didn't want to torque too hard on just the aluminum thread in case I stripped it out. Um, this motor also, I mean, there was a couple other stray bolts that I had noted were loose. I tightened them. They all seem to be staying tight. Um, up in here in this corner, the back of the crankcase is where I, uh, I've done a video on it. Um, basically, I took the, somebody had bumped this screw here, I think, and knocked off a tab, which made a hole in the block. I could see from the tab that I, I had most of the pieces. I didn't think anything really had fell into the bottom, down into the oil. So I took uh, two pieces of copper all round, put a bolt through them to make a clamp. So I shoved one down inside the engine with a bolt in it and pulled them up tight and did up the nut. Um, then I used solder and flux, heated this all up. I knew I wouldn't get a real good grab on the uh, aluminum or the, the, the white metal, whatever you want to call it. And uh, so I basically just made a plug out of solder. And then I stuck the bolt into the all-round here and it worked out fine. Uh, so the motor runs beautiful. That's been fixed. That's been fixed. Um, over to here, I did a real slop hoppy job here getting the exhaust back together. Um, it's twice as solid as it was. So that's good enough. And I think that's about it for this machine. Um, one of the last things I want to do now before spring, besides a little touch-up paint here and there, is I want to change the rear wheels. They, they're mismatched. I'm thinking this is a new one. This is an old one, or an original. And uh, they definitely don't match. And it makes it ride kind of almost a little bit to the side. So that's the Craftsman. Uh, questions, comments, concerns? Um, these things are all pretty basic, and nowadays I think MTD pretty well makes them all. So let me know what you think. Ciao.